okay session two uh, we are going to see how to make a package and how to reuse your design so earlier we have designed half header so if you double click it you can see half header is just two behavioral statements and these are event driven that means that these are concurrent statements okay if there is an event on a or event on b or both then this statement is executed the computed result is not immediately assigned to some right now one more concept is if some changes value then it is called an event on some if some doesn't change value right so for example a is zero and b is zero and xor between a and b is zero now a becomes one and b becomes one xor is still zero so there is a execution of the statement, but there is no update of sub. So this is called a transaction. So any event basically is a transaction. Okay. But well, every transaction is not an event. Event means the change in value has to take place. So if the change in value does not change, take place, it will be called a transaction. So any evaluation is a transaction, but if it results in change in value, it will be called an event. Okay, so we are going to use this event attribute in number of sequential circuits. Okay, so now let's say we want to do a full adder. So how would we do that? We will just right click on design sources and say add source, add a design source. And here I'm going to create another file and I'll call this as full adder. Now, the first thing is to keep it in the same library as half header right and then say finish and i'm going to define its entity so i'll name the architecture as fa and the entity is a full header has got a b and c in three inputs and sum so sum and out as output. Correct? So these are the five, yeah. So these are the five pins. Say okay. Now, if you want to use a half header, uh, reuse this design. So you want to use two half headers to make a full header. Then what you have to do? Uh, you will have to create a package. Uh, package is just like a header file in C. All the declarations can be kept inside a package. No definitions, only declarations. Okay. So what do you do in a package? In a package, you can define a constant or a deferred constant. Okay. You can declare a function or a procedure. And you can also def uh, define a type or declare a type what you call. But other than that, uh, package is not used for anything other than that. Okay, so I'm going to make another, I'll add sources, but this time I'm going to keep this file as blank. Okay, so I'll create this file called my circuits. Okay. Now my circuits, I'm going to name the package also my circuits. So the file name is same as the package name or the entity name so that it is easier to debug. Okay, say okay and I'll put it in the same library and I'll finish it. Now here, I will just cancel it. So once you cancel and there is no entity inside a file, then it comes in as a non-module file. So if you go under libraries, you will see it under, it, it is outside the subcomp library. It is unreferenced. So what I'll do is I'll draw I will drag this under subcomponents and it'll say manual compile order is turned off. So I am putting it at the top. So I will like to put it at the top. So this should be the first, first file which should compile, right? And then the half header and then the full header. Okay? So that's the sequence. So I'll manually manage my sequences. It's not automatically managed now. I have turned that feature off. Okay, so now, I can go, let me see, 
go back to library i can open this file inside i will start lighting it same way library i triple e use i triple e dot std underscore logic underscore 1164 dot all okay and then i can say uh, package and the name of the package which is in this case is my circuits okay is and then there is no begin or end okay and you can just say and my circuits with a semicolon at the end so that basically is the package and this half adder entity has to be copied so that you do not do a mis typing mistake it's better to just copy it and paste it under my circuits once you have pasted it you can just change entity into a component and and component okay so now this is a package with the component half header declared okay so once you are done with this now you are in a position to use half header inside your full header so you go ahead and open this full header remove all the unnecessary comments put your own comment and say that this is a full header okay so this is a full header and here i am going to include my library l-i-b-r-a-r-y library and it is called subcomponent and then I'm going to say use subcomponent dot package name. Package name is called my circuits. And say everything in that package has to be included. So dot all. Okay, let's see. Yeah, so this is done. It says cannot find my circuits. Uh, what should be the reason uh, library was compiled okay while saving this should do it isn't it i don't see a reason uh, let's make sure that everything is okay library is called subcomp and this is subcomp my circuits dot all. Hmm. So we should not go inside a non module. Let me see what has happened with this one. Hmm. Package my circuits is component. Let's see compile order. My circuit is at the top. It's perfectly fine. Okay, I'm gonna make this nice change. It doesn't make sense. So what has happened to the compile order? Cannot find my circuits. In library subcomponent. Let me see if there is a naming issue. My circuits. And this is my circuits. Okay. Let me take a pause here. Okay, so now we have copied the entity of half header into a package and converted into a component and uh, still this is a non-module file doesn't make sense okay so now what you have to do is uh, you are going to use two half headers to make a full fed now what will happen is i'll have to use some wires or signals as intermediate signals correct so i would say signal let's say s0 c0 and c1 are intermediate signals of this type sdd 
lost. Correct. And then I am going to instantiate half other instance. So I will call this one, and this one is a half other. Correct. And then I will have to map the ports. So what? So the 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 sequence of ports here will do the 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 sequence of connections here. Okay, so basically the sequence is A, B, sum, and carry. So here, A, B, sum in this case is S0, correct? And carry is C0. So this is called mapping by reference. So the position basically decides how this will be connected to the subcomponent. Okay, now this is position, this is uh, mapping by position. Now there is a mapping by by the name pair. So let's say HA2, which is a second instance of half header. Right? And and port map, what I'm going to do is I can do it in any sequence I like. So for example, I can say uh, for example, I can say carry of the carry of half header. So basically it is carry, right? So the carry of half header has to map to C1, correct? And then I would say uh, A has to map to S0, and then I can say uh, B has to map to C in, correct? And then the last one is the sum, right? So I can say sum of the sum of this top level hierarchy map, okay, maps with the sum of the, so basically it is also called sum here. So sum basically of this one maps to sum of the top level. So now this is called mapping by name naming right by pair mapping by reference you can say so now here mapping by reference can be in any sequence it's carry comes first then a0 a and b and then some where the sequence is a b sum and carry so this is mapping by position this is mapping by reference okay so so both ways are possible and then c out is basically c0 or with c1 now, this style of architecture has two types of statements inside the architecture. A, instantiation. And B, there is a variable state. Now, had there been only instantiation, it will be called structural style of architecture. But now, there is a behavioral statement, which is more like a data flow. So, this is like a mix style of architecture model. Okay. okay, so now we save this. Right? So we are all set. Okay. Now I want to check this. How would I check this? I'll go to settings. So this is already set as a top module, right? So this is a top module. Then for simulation, I'm going to use a full header for simulation. Say okay. So let us run the simulation. Okay, so once simulation is done, I'm going to just reset this and I'm going to verify this. A is, I'm going to force a constant, let's say 0. B, I'm going to force a constant 0. And C also, I'm going to force a constant 0. Now here, S0, C0 and C1 are signals, right? Intermediate signals. They are bidirectional. They are just wires. Well, these are the ports, and I'm interested in ports only unless I want to debug. So if I want, I can just delete them. I'm just interested in plotting this, and I can run for 100 seconds. So when it's zero, it's zero. 
force a constant when it's one run it again so the sum is one now I'll put another state force a constant zero this one force a constant one and do it again same stuff right and then I'll make both of them as one okay run it again so sum is zero carry is one so sorry it's a save if you want to save it so that's four states then you can repeat the same thing with c n is equal to one okay so i'll start with zero zero again zero zero and i'll run this again so the sum is one four plus one then the sum is 0, carry is 1, force constant 0, 1, and run it again, so that's all fine, and force constant 1 again, so all 3 are 1, the answer is 1, 1, so you can view all it. So these are the 8, eight input states, right? Okay, so. So this validates that this full either is working. So at the end, I can just close simulation. So I can just discard if I want. Okay, so this is how we use a package and, a, and reuse the design half header to make a full header. Okay, so this session was a small one. We are not going to do synthesis and implementation and uh, uh, write the bit string so unless the design gets bigger so this ends the second session so i'm just going to close this okay